Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMNY. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like you this time frame, think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price, and then just makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Been tracking this analysis on a very routine basis, did it yesterday. And after today's price movement, uh, game over as far as you know what was taking place and what was looking like a possibility of happening. Uh, you know, the price had been going sideways. Um, but then today the price just, uh, I mean, for lack of better words, I mean, it totally crapped the bed. And now it's sitting at all time lows, um, which looks like, you know, potentially sub penny could be right around the corner, which would be crazy to see something that was $25 just a few weeks ago, um, trading that, you know, 0 .00 and then, you know, insert number there. Uh, it's still got a ways to go, but I mean, if that two cent mark doesn't hold, then, um, you know, it, it definitely could be a situation where people are just starting to bail and it's looking like maybe the company needed some more money and they started to dump. But uh, anyway, you look at it, you know, that whole sideways price action movement has now been violated. So the newest area of support from a technical level is just simply, you know, where the price and bleeding stopped today. And that bleeding stopped right down there directly on the 0.02 mark. So two cents is where there's enough buyers to, uh, you know, prevent any, so any further, you know, damage to the downside. Does that remain? Does that hold strong going forward? You know, a chart's not a crystal ball in that sense. All it's going to tell us right now is that, as it stands, people do find it, you know, you know the the value worth it enough at two cents to buy. Now, do, are those same people or are enough people going to continue to think two cents is a good value? Like I said, a chart's not going to tell you that. All it's telling us right now is that that is support. That is where people were literally willing to come in and support it with their money and you know pick up some shares. So we'll see if that you know maintains itself or not. But like I said. That's definitely the key level of support. And in my opinion, if two cents does not hold, then I think it'll get down to sub penny, uh, you know, sooner rather than later. Uh, but you know, only once, you know, only time will tell and one step at a time. And you know, first, you know, two cents has got to be broken, which, you know, watching a little bit of level twos today, it did seem like it was a pretty, uh, you know, thick area. So looks like the, the bears really will have to bring their A game if they're going to be able to push down through there on any sort of bounce. Uh, you know, keep an eye on that purple line there, the 50 period, something moving average. But, you know, at, at this point, let's just see if the price can even start to go sideways or if this is just the beginning of a whole new kind of push to the downside. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey, Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.